today we are leaving the creepy abandoned island called Lee Stocking. We just made it out of the cut and it's a perfect weather window to sail 30 miles all the way up to stainless key. No, not stainless. Stainless key. <laughs> key. Stainless key. It's a beautiful sail. We are beam reaching and it's blowing only like 10 to 15 knots. It's gonna be nice. Jesus. Good job, dude. That was interesting. That was tight. <laughs> that was an intense cut. It was like current coming out against the waves. So it was like this weird, choppy, rolly bizarreness. And it's very narrow cut between a reef and a rock. All right, like so. It's suddenly, it's just calm. We might be able to pinch that if you want to try. Do you mm. want to try? Okay guys, welcome to Staniel Key. This place is one of the more popular and one of the biggest tourist attractions in the Exumas. We're going to be here for about a week and so we're going to try to see and do as much as we can and hopefully share with you what Staniel Key is all about. But first, we're going to go put Coco in the water and go for a dinghy ride. We just brought the dinghy today to a little speck of land about two miles from the anchorage and I'm not sure if this place is a popular place or not but it should be because it is just beautiful if we're surrounded by all these rocks it's really nice so we're gonna hike around the island today and check out the ocean side and maybe do some free diving Ooh, yeah. Well, we knew, judging by how it looked on Google satellite maps, that this place was going to be really cool. Um, but we had no idea it was going to be this cool. This place is amazing. Oh, that was beautiful. 
that was so awesome it was lovely and those pools oh my gosh i love it but it's getting really hot <laughs> so do you want to go free diving yes uh it's really calm today because the wind is just starting to fill back in so the ocean side looked really beautiful from the drone and we're excited to go free diving on that side free diving reminded me a lot of kula Brita when yes. we were hanging out there and there's really, those really cool tidal pools but here was extra special because we were not expecting that no we were expecting to go climb on these rocks and like hang out at the beach a little bit but those pools were <laughs> awesome yeah. that was beautiful that was such a cool find i'm glad we came here i'm glad we stopped here cool trick or something this camera is so little We are checking out the piggies today, although it seems that they are all asleep. <laughs> stand up. There's no piggies awake except for maybe these two. I guess if you want to see the pigs awake, you should come in the morning. And if you want them to be asleep, come in the afternoon because they were already well fed and they're all taking a nap, so. <laughs> These pigs are like the laziest, most well-fed pigs I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Pretty much. But I did not know that this bay was so popular because we're anchored on the other side. And check out how many boats are here. Quiet nights, we hold them tightly. Glimmering your eyes shines brightly. Tough life, these piggies. Tough life. <laughs> Sunbathing, food gets brought to them in boats every day by tourists. They're like the fattest, most well-fed pigs I think I've ever seen. Oh, oh, <laughs> tough life, dude. Tough life. Living on a beach in the Bahamas. <sighs> More than gold is worth. Hope is taken birth. This is where we come alive. So if they have to write a sign about it, it means that somebody's tried it, which is kind of messed up. <laughs> a little disturbing. Funny story about these pigs too, is that there's a story recently that some model, I think, <laughs> I've got seen that video bitten. on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> really did, really? Yeah, there's a video she got, on Instagram. She got bitten by one of the big pigs. <laughs> I haven't seen the video, but <laughs> I think that's hilarious. I'm kind of a slightly happy that the big ones are sleeping i'm sorry i'm short it's all good <laughs> but yeah and honestly i appreciated the other island with pigs better because they there were less tourists they were less tourists they were yeah. it was a less popular island and so they were not like aggressive for food although we didn't experience the aggressive for food <laughs> part <laughs> they're all passed out they all ate good this morning yeah. and they're done it's except, hot and they're asleep except for this little guy this little loner right here Like right there. Well, now we know why the one pig was not asleep where all the other ones were because she's the mom of the little piggies. And as soon as she went back to the tent, all little piggies needed to get some food. So <laughs> she was taking a vacation. <laughs> Uh. 
Why do you think they're tagged? Uh, so that they know which ones are which. They know how old they are, so when they butcher them. <laughs> That's evil. It's evil, but it's probably true. I reckon these pigs are just fed by strangers until they're big enough to uh, turn into food. Like this know. guy? I mean, otherwise there'd be a thousand pigs on this island. Pigs breed pretty, pretty quickly. But the reality is they're tagged so that they can keep track of who's who and when they were born and all that stuff. They're just identification tags. What'd you think? Oh, I like No Name better. It was cool, these pigs are a lot bigger, but I like the uh, I like that we found the ones that No Name a little bit better. They were like smaller and cuter and more chill. These ones are uh, pretty big and like a little feisty. They've kind of like, they know the game. If you don't have food, they leave you alone. If you do have food, they're like really kind of feisty. So I'm glad we say them though. These ones actually swim. Yeah, they swim to your boat. Well, the pigs are one of the popular attractions around here, but this bay is usually one of the better protected bays um, when the sort of normal trade winds are blowing, which means everybody anchors here. It's a close dinghy ride around the corner to Stanley Yacht Club, and that's where the airport is, so people flying in. So all of the big, like, fancy mega yacht kind of boats are all anchored out here, and there's a lot of them all the way offshore as far as we can see. Some of the bigger ones that have a lot deeper drafts are anchored out here, and the, the smaller ones are anchored in here. <laughs> Small ones, huh? Smaller ones. This is like bigger than our silver, and that's the that's the guy's little boat. For real. Ready? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay, a month. All the things to see and do in Staniel Key, I think a big one, probably the biggest actually, is a Tunnable Grotto. And basically it's a cave system, a grotto, that is hiding underneath a giant rock. And from watching other videos, I always thought that it was more in an isolated location, but turns out it's literally in front of the anchorage. I mean, I can swim from the boat to it, <laughs> which is crazy. But we've been here for a few days now and we've been trying to figure out what a good time to go check it out would be. And the thing is, it's such a popular spot that dozens of boats come in and out every day and all day. So our secret, and, oh, here's the sun. Our secret, and it's no longer a secret because I'm sharing it with you, but it's worth it. The secret is to wait after four o'clock, 4 p.m. because all the tours end around that time and most cruisers go back to the yacht club to get their sundowners or sunset drinks so if you go in the afternoon you have the entire place to yourself which is perfect I'm just waiting for the very last boat to leave and then we'll go check it out excited yeah we're right in front of the entrance it should be nice it's like you can see there's like a hole there there's a hole there there's a hole there the only thing is that you're supposed to visit this place at high tide or low tide when there's no current. And right now it's in between, so there's about a two knot current pushing through. So we brought the, uh, the big fence so we can swim against it. <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> wow. It's so cool. There's like so many different colors of blue coming in because like from the west where the sun is setting, there's like this green teal blue. And then from the east, there's like this really deep rich blue. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's really lovely. I think this is probably the best part of Stanyol Key. Uh, like there's a lot of things to do. I would but agree. But this is, this wins it all for sure. And there's really more, there's, there's more than one entrance, which makes it Let's even this awesome. Way. Da -da. Da -da. 
Oh my gosh, it gets cooler. Holy sh! <laughs> what? I was not expecting this. Check this out. Freediving! Is that your freediving dance? That's my freediving dance. Freediving! Freediving! And then disappear. Nope, you didn't disappear. <laughs> freediving! And then I disappear. <laughs> Did I disappear? No. No? Okay. But you have to pin it slightly up so that I can okay. actually freedive. Ready? Freediving! Freediving! And then <gasps> disappear! <laughs> <laughs>